Lord Sealer isn't just good at striking. His striking is on a whole other level, almost like something out of a movie. With an impressive streak of 100 consecutive victories, he's so quick that they call him Mr. Lightning. But have you ever wondered just how Lord Sealer achieved his unparalleled striking skill? And most importantly, how can you follow his lead to stand out? Join us today as we uncover the secrets behind his lightning-fast strikes and why Lerd Seiler's ability to weave, duck, and walk down opponents with unmatched confidence sets him apart as the most evasive Muay Thai champion in history. So let's get right into it. Without a doubt, Lerd Seiler is the most elusive fighter in Muay Thai history. He is so hard to catch that they refer to him as the Slippery Eel. If Bruce Lee was alive to see Lerd Seiler fight, he would say that he is like water, can flow, and can crash. Now water can flow, how oh, it can crash. Be water, my friend. Jockey Jim, one of the greatest fight camps in Thailand's history, gave birth to Lerd Sila. Like other legends from Jockey Jim, Lerd Sila was majestically technical, fast, elusive, and tricky. Lerd Sila was the best of Jockey Jim fighters. You can see Senchai and Somrak in Lerd Sila's style, but what made him unique was that he is the hybrid of the two legends, and even more elusive than the rest. Being more evasive than the rest of Jockey Jim fighters is no small feat, as they were all extremely evasive. To top it off, Lerd Sila also combined the best of what he saw in Taekwondo and Karate. He also added incredible defensive boxing, which is very rare for Muay Thai and kickboxing. Lerd Sila observed martial artists globally incorporate their techniques into his unique style and evolved as a hybrid striker. Deception is fundamental to his fighting style as he consistently keeps opponents guessing with various tricks. What makes watching Lerd Sila exciting is his ability to unsettle opponents, similar to a matador enticing a bull to charge. Lerdzilla strategically provokes emotional responses in adversaries to disrupt their concentration and score easily. His expertise extends beyond physical power as he delves into the psychological aspects of the sport. He uses emotion as a strategic tool in the ring. Lerdzilla's unique approach includes diverse techniques and psychological tactics. He is a fighter who goes beyond skill, and it makes him undefeated in the ring. Lerzilla has refined his kicking skill to near perfection by incorporating elements from various martial arts disciplines. His kicks are not only powerful, but executed with precision, often catching opponents off guard. Now, before we unveil Lerzilla's striking secrets, let's explore three real-life instances that show the effectiveness of his techniques. Fighting against Momotaro in 2019, Laird Sila makes use of his head movements from the brutal head strikes of this opponent. His hands are positioned low, and he expertly evades punches with a fantastic range of motion. Unlike many kickboxers, Laird Sila displays an exceptional level of head movement, which makes it challenging for opponents to land punches. While most fighters may hesitate to employ such extensive head movement, Due to the risk of overcommitting and facing strikes, Lerd Sila excels in this aspect. Lerd Sila's success is boosted by another impressive technique, leg fakes. He excels at subtly lifting his leg, opting for a quarter of the way rather than a full extension for a front kick. This strategic move creates a deceptive pump and leaves opponents uncertain about the impending attack. Lerd Sila smoothly transitions from these feints, falling into his hands or incorporating a quick twitch before launching a full kick. What sets Lerd Sila apart is his precise understanding of the science behind faking. He elicits reactions without committing the technique too far, maintaining impeccable timing. Unlike traditional fakes that may require rechambering and wasted time, Lerdzilla's fakes lift just enough to provoke a response, avoiding giving opponents the chance to recover. In his fight against Kohai Kudera, he can be seen making use of this technique, which contributed significantly to his success. Using deceptive leg movements is a smart move, but it can wear you out. Lerdzilla has another great trick up his sleeve to stay cool and collected during a match to minimize his fatigue. Lerdzilla excels at staying relaxed during fights, a skill that plays a crucial role in preventing fatigue. 
His ability to drop his hands and take breaks allows him to recover almost completely between each combination. This strategic approach significantly counters opponents' attempts to exhaust him as he expertly manages his energy. Lertzila's experience and fighting IQ shines through in his calculated breaks during exchanges. Unlike a constant go-go-go approach, he lets his hands go down, allowing for recovery. This experience-driven tactic ensures that he remains composed throughout the fight, preventing fatigue from setting in. This technique of staying relaxed and taking breaks is not unique to Laird Sela, but can be a valuable lesson for others. While not everyone may choose to drop their hands like him, the concept of keeping hands up and loosening up a bit to let the body recover applies universally. It's a safe and effective way to avoid tiring out and maintain endurance in the ring. Now, looking into different aspects of Lerdzila's approach, let's check out some strategies that make him stand out. It is rare for a fighter to put themselves against the ropes and invite the opponent to attack, especially in Muay Thai and kickboxing. This technique is called Rope A Dope, and Lerdzila extensively uses this technique. A fighter would only tactically do this to opponents who are superior athletes. By inviting them to attack from a disadvantageous position, his more athletic opponents exhaust their energy. Like, for example, when Muhammad Ali used the famous rope A dope against the monstrous George Foreman. Worldwide, Ali working to the head of George Foreman. Ali scores again with a light left hand. At that time, a straight left bounce to the head back of Foreman. Foreman, it seems to be one, two, maybe three good punches. That punch taken on the glove for a round or so ago. The heat is pretty high here. Now, at an older age, Lerdzila does the same thing against his many opponents, using his slick evasive skills to dodge punches and his beautiful Muay Thai deep to nullify aggression. This reserves his energy for explosive attacks that result in knockouts. Lerdzila has the craziest level of spine flexibility that we have ever seen in a fighter. He can bend so low and yet still bounce back to attack right after. This takes incredible balance and mobility, the ability to pull off. Although many Muay Thai fighters can lean back, Lerdzila does it uniquely. He can even move his feet position as he leans back. Weaving, ducking and slipping punches are a rarity in Muay Thai fighting, but Lerdzila has mastered this technique too. Unlike many Muay Thai fighters, including the renowned Sain Chai and Somrak, who tend to rely more on traditional defensive strategies, Lerdzila stands out for his ability to integrate head movement as we discussed earlier. Weaving involves a rhythmic side-to-side -side movement which allows Lerdzila to evade oncoming punches by swaying his upper body. Ducking is a downward motion that involves bending at the knees to slip under punches. Slipping is a lateral shift of the head to avoid direct contact. Lerdzila has mastered these movements which shows a level of agility and defensive finesse uncommon in Muay Thai. What sets Lerdzila apart is not only his proficiency in slipping, weaving and ducking, but also his ability to lean back effectively. This defensive technique involves leaning backward to avoid punches. While these defensive maneuvers might be rare in Muay Thai, Lerdzila's adeptness at incorporating them into his fighting style makes him a standout figure in the sport. Hands down, stalking the opponent. This is another special and unique style mastered by Lerdzila. Most evasive, tricky fighters sit back and just counter. But once Lerdzila feels like he has his opponent's number, he will walk them down with his guard, dropped, and invite attacks so that he can counter them. This is mental warfare at its finest. His ability to just toy with his opponents shows a mad high level of IQ and competence. Now the question is how you can follow his lead. Well, Lerdzila isn't a striker. He is an artist with exceptional speed and precision. To follow his lead, one needs to blend diverse martial arts tactics, employ leg fakes strategically for unpredictability, focus on staying relaxed for better energy management, and include defensive moves like weaving and slipping in training for improved defense. Are you curious to know about another striker who has been making ways for his striking abilities? Click the video on the screen now.